Hi, so today, today's question is going to be for web pen testers. It's a very small topic, but a very impactful and annoying for some times. So let's understand what is it we'll see in the concluding video. So tell me what is HTTP only flag? So HTTP only flag is mainly set for a session cookie. So you might ask me why is it set for the session cookie and not for the other cookies. So the reason it is set for the session cookie only is because uh, there are injection attacks. Mm -hmm. Cross site scripting is one of them. Then. So one of the scripts that cross site scripting has is document.cookie. Right. So what the document.cookie script does is if an attacker puts in the inject that script, it helps in getting another user's session cookie to the attacker. Right. So when you have this particular flag, that is HTTP only flag set to your session cookie, all that attacker gets is a plain blank screen. He doesn't get the cookie at all. Hmm. So that's what the HTTP only flag does. Is this flag independent of which server are you using? No, it is not. It's for all the servers, you can set it. Okay. If it is so easy, then why is it been ignored by developers or the owner of the web servers? Mainly because one thing, they might not be aware of it. That could be one of the things. And since they are, we all focus on the big stuff and leave the minor things. So that is the main crusk, crusk of it. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, to conclude, what would you suggest? So, HTTP only is mostly preventing cross-site scripting or session-related attack. So, if you say cross-site scripting, so if your application is already vulnerable to cross-site scripting and the attacker wants to gain a, the session of a user, mm. this can help in preventing that from happening. But that is not preventing the cross-site scripting. Another script can allow it to happen. But it does allow it to prevent a session hijacking attack. Right. So it means via one attack, if one exploits, then other could be a possible exploit leading to more information. Yes. So this particular is helped in not allowing a session cookie to be sent to an attacker. Interesting. So yes. So thank you for the details. But we saw why a simple HTTP only flag which is easier to set, is not being configured, can stop multiple vulnerabilities like session cookie leakage or uh, cross-site rendering, uh, cross-site injection, actually revealing the data. Thank you.